Greetings, and welcome to the Republican Climate Channel on YouTube. And in this channel, various video clips, I am trying to explain to you how the Republican Party in its current form is contributing to an atmosphere or a climate of hostility and intimidation today, looking at economic oppression. In an earlier video, I talked to a corporation as if it were a person, and that's what I'm going to do today also. Well, hello, Mr. Corporation. How was your day today? Oh, it was a down day on Wall Street? Really? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, you know, under Bush, the Dow Jones fell to about 8,000, and now it's up to around 12 to 13,000 under Obama. But that's not good enough. Well, let's think about some nice things, shall we? And get our minds off of the terrible state of your earnings, which means that you only get maybe $20 million a year as a CEO. Well, let's try to think of something good instead. In Naples, Florida, and this is not something I'm making up, but Naples, Florida, Bank of America tried to foreclose on a home owned by a couple. The only problem was the couple owed no money to the bank for that property. So they sued and the judge stopped the foreclosure. But then the couple sued Bank of America for the legal costs that they had spent defending themselves from this false foreclosure. The judge agreed, but Bank of America ignored them and ignored them. And finally, the judge ordered that a deputy and a moving van go to the Bank of America and seize cash, computers, etc. from the bank branch equivalent to the legal costs. What an inspiring story. That should make you feel good. Mr. Corporation? Well, let me tell you another inspiring story. There was a foreclosure firm in Amherst, New York, and it was shut down by federal regulators because it followed illegal practices in foreclosure. But what was really inspiring about that corporation was they had, shortly before they were closed down, a Halloween party. And the employees came to that party dressed up as homeless people. They were mocking the people who had been made homeless by the illegal foreclosure practices of that corporation. Well, you see, corporations are people, and they're such good people. I'm so proud of them. Now, the people who work for the corporations, the bank clerks that you actually see, they really are, I'm not being sarcastic now, they really are truly nice people. But from the corporation's viewpoint, they are expendable. If a corporation is a person, then that does not apply to the average employee. Instead, it applies mostly to the CEO and to the board of directors. I'll tell you another story about a bank account that I have in which I earn interest. I earn one cent a month of interest. And every 10 years, what that means is that with the interest on that account, every 10 years, I can have a celebratory latte at Starbucks. And that would grow to $12 in a thousand years. You know, and that is going to be some of the assets that my, uh, my descendants are going to inherit, that is, if they have any asses to set on. Uh, they, of course, might be genetically engineered robots by that time, I don't know. But if they do, they can be happy for the $12 that they have received from interest on my bank account. Well, you know, Mr. Corporation, it is you that makes me so proud to be an American, and you are going to contribute to a great future for this nation. Thank you for listening to the Republican Climate Channel on YouTube. Good night, and good luck.